this is a, a bit of a an opportunist video really it's about solar farms and scale I just had the opportunity to turn up at this uh, where they were installing this solar farm and uh, I just thought let's go for it uh, you can't beat just cracking on there and then but the problem is we've got some wind and uh, not personally but in the video and so therefore occasionally and I've had to uh, edit bits out and um, reduce the volume in places but you're gonna get some annoying wind so there you go that's just life and we've got uh, an interview with Mark Kaywood there he's just telling us about the inverters there are eight inverters on this 170 kilowatt um, uh, farm and I will just change that image because he looks a bit better there and um, about 600 to 700 volts per string so 20 odd to 23 panels per string um, a string is a panels all in series so you imagine you could have um, a string of 20 panels and then you could parallel that up with another string of 20 panels so there's eight inverters each inverter being 20 kilowatts and there are two uh, tracking systems per uh, inverter so therefore each tracking part of the inverter will handle 10 kilowatts so there are four panels to the kilowatt so effectively we're talking 40 panels per maximum power point tracker and 80 panels per inverter nominal approximately anyway we've got quite a few interesting things there's a bit of old technology and new technology there and then further on further on we've got some views of let's see if I can get this here a different system much bigger a lot lot bigger outrageously bigger and this by the way is an attempt to cut the the wind down but when you zoomed right out um, it's not very effective because it gets in view but go zoom in and it gets rid of it so and then right towards the end we've got state the obvious home power yeah being independent as much as possible um, looking after yourself so hopefully you'll enjoy this video uh, the wind in various places especially when unfortunately uh, when Mark was doing his interview it's trying to find a better one how come there you go um, yeah the wind just picked up and got in the camera a bit so hopefully just show a bit of forbearance on that one because the general thing is it's all very interesting the fact that there's no concrete um, all the uh, all the the frames are based on screw thread ground anchors which of course are reversible you can take it all apart wind them out the ground and go and put them somewhere else so anyway on with the video I'm just sat in the car here trying to keep the wind out the camera handheld again so wobbly camera but let's have a look over there a solar very small solar farm being installed around those buildings let's go and have a look So here we are, I'm just going to stop a minute because we've got aeroplane interference. Nice open site, ideal for a small solar system. I believe it's about 170 kilowatts. The wind is variable today, so we're going to get some wind noise in the camera. So 
it is one of the labels. Thirty volt nominal, two fifty watts. But there's loads of them, so that's four to the kilowatt. And it's a different view. One, two, three, and the wind gets in the camera. And there's some more the other side. And there's the AC conduit. And the inverter will go on this framework. An IP66 inverter for exterior use. And there's the DC connectors or switches as I was saying this is relatively small and it will have quite a low impact visually if you got 10 hectares of these things it's a whole different ball game so therefore small and frequent bit like uh, turbines, the huge great uh, wind turbine farms, or wind farms, this is just out of proportion with the landscape. Here's one of the feet, again it's great, no concrete, look, because it's a screw thread. And there's it in place. And here's the cable. It looks about three inches in diameter. And the cable goes off to a new supply. Just tell me about those inverters, can you, Mark? <laughs> the inverters, it's a, well, the system is 170 kilowatt system. And we're using th eight SMA 20,000 TL inverters. Each inverter has four strings. Each string has between 21 and 23 250 watt solar well panels. The um, voltage open circuit of uh, each um, panel is around about 37.8 volts. So we're in the region of 600 to 700 volts. Each inverter has uh, dual tracking uh, ability, so it's two MPPs per, per inverter, um, and they are web connect enabled to allow um, communication directly back to the SMA sunny pool. Brilliant! And what's the total output of the? Uh, it's a 170 kilowatt array. Yeah, and how many panels? 680 solar world, 250 watt panels. It's amazing, and it's the right scale for the environment. It's perfect. It will run. Um, they've got going to put in three large fans to dry the, uh, the grain so it will easily power power that um, during the summer periods and during the, the rest of the periods they'll be exporting back to the grid. Yeah and it's it's like some of the other the some of the other solar farms they're huge they're hectares and hectares. The megawatt the megawatt size. Yeah size and farms. it's just a big that's visual pure, impact. Pure export that's, that's pure export supplying supplying the local community if you like. That's right yeah. But if we had small, uh, if we had more of these smaller ones dotted about, then maybe there wouldn't be as much reaction against them. Small, small scale PV that is where the electricity can be used locally. So particularly, uh, okay, small farmyards where perhaps 100, 150, 200 kilowatts, and then the same on large commercial buildings. So large commercial users with large buildings, 100, 200 kilowatts used locally. That's where the PV should be put. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah, and there's there's less losses within the grid and distribution. Less losses, the, the electricity is being used on site, so you know, you're not, not having to distribute it to the point of sale, if you like. You know, it's being generated at the point of use, and if there are large users of electricity, it's it's minimising the demand for the grid during daylight hours. You know, most of these uh, manufacturing premises operate during daylight hours when the electricity is being generated. So large commercial roofs are, are the way forward without shadow of a doubt. 
Thanks very much, Mark. Pleasure. And there's the new transformer. And just behind it is a bit of old technology. Suffering from extreme wear. Just look here. See those? Right. And it goes on and on and on and on to there. This is, so if you notice, it's in the flat area. So it's not as intrusive as if it was on a valley side or in rolling countryside where you could view its entirety. But let's go around the other side and have a look, closer look. So here's the other side. And if you notice, whereas the last solar farm was two panels in portrait this is three panels in landscape so maybe not quite so high and at a fairly shallow angle less of an angle than the last lot but it goes on and on let's just focus on that house over there if we can somewhere that over there yeah just see how many panels there are and these shipping containers there we go that's obviously inverters and controls and all sorts of things and there are one two three four five six at least seven of those all the way over there there's some more some more still there we go so it's a big system and let's come close in and of course it's fenced and somewhere On that post, that big post there, what have we got? Security cameras. So the more panels you've got, the more likelihood somebody's going to come along and remove them without permission. Interesting actually on this landscape, even 10 years ago small-scale turbines would not have been a standard feature and there's one and we just move in round there's that big shed and there's another and there's another one but I'll just see whether the sun's going to get in the way or not and there's another so where I'm standing I can see at least three so coming back to this solar it's big probably not monstrously huge compared to other parts of the country but it's big so there's one of those turbines that we saw earlier on let's just zoom out a bit and then come round again on this very flat landscape and we come round you see how flat it is 
Now, this is slightly different and uh, to quote Douglas Adams, uh, indirectly really, to counterpoint the surrealism of the underlying metaphor, here's somebody who really believes in just looking after yourself, taking responsibility for yourself. There we've got what looks like solar panels on the shed, looks like water heating panels on the house roof with some more solar panels and a turbine and another turbine. So maybe 60, 70 years ago out here in the fens little turbines like that would be more common. Things like the um, the Lucas free light etc and that they were swept away with the uh, the introduction of mains power so that was those turbines were the past and now they're the future <laughs>